What's up, YouTube? Xanrith here. Enjoying Labor Day. So by the time you guys see this, it'll be, I don't know, the end of the week on Labor Day weekend. But it's a beautiful U.S. holiday where we get a day off and I get to have some fun. Well, I'm out here on my mother's 250. Uh-oh, got a car on the side of the road. Nobody in it. Okay, I'm just going to stop and see if anyone needs help. My mother's 250. Uh, testing her out, doing some um, trials, some tweaking maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens as the uh, time gets there. Still don't like the shifter on it, but whatever. We'll, we'll work on that too. And just cruising around a couple of the hills in my hometown. See what's, see what's out here. See what's going on. Okay, hill climb complete. Uh, we were looking at a little bit of a gas leak possibly coming out of the carb. The whole carb seems to be a little damp right now. I wonder if that's condensation or that yeah, feels cold and wet. Might just be some condensation built up. But we're looking at this tube and it looks pretty damp around the end. So we're thinking maybe there might be a little bit of a gas leak there. And I thought if I got it out running a bit, it might might show itself. But I'm not seeing any drips yet. Hmm. We'll have to keep playing with it. But anyways, I don't know how much of the camera can pick this up. But I'm out on a kind of scenic overlook right now. I'm trying to find, might get my bearings on where I'm exactly at. Where the hell's the dome? I should be able to see the SU dome from up here, and I, I'm not seeing it right now. But Syracuse is over in that direction somewhere. Lake Oneida is over there. Huh. Maybe not high enough. Maybe the maybe the dome's over these hills here. But, you know, one thing's one. This is, you know, oh, this is a great place to just kind of hang out. I should have brought my camera taking this picture of the bike, but... Oh, that's loose too. I'm gonna tighten that. Tighten that up too. It's a little wiggly. Hmm. Oh well, play with it. Okay, back down the hill. Gotta love this little 250. Problem is with this turn is I can't see around it. Fucking. Kinda just gotta go sometimes. Oh, I just noticed the uh, 
speedometer here has a little tick, say one, two, three, four, five, that tell me like where I can max out each gear, I think. That's pretty nice, because there's no tachometer on here to tell me what my RPMs are, right? And so it's built into the speedometer where it's got a, uh, how's it going, dude? Nice dog. Where it's got a uh, little marks one, two, three, four, and five here. I think that's where each gear will max itself out. So, a lot of active people up here today. So that's pretty neat to see. At least it gives you a way, if you don't know what you're riding or how to ride, that you can kind of see what the uh, speedometer or where the uh, shifting should kind of occur. I wonder if this person just out walking their dog and left their car there. That could be it. That could be that lady there with her dog. It says mom on it. Kind of like my 300 where the first gear is really, really short. But I mean, it's a 250, what do you want? You need the torque in the front end. And the shifter, I mean, I really got to lift up on it. I'm basically lifting my foot up. I can't really feel it click. What's up, bros? Yeah, friends, making friends out here. Madison County, town of Sullivan. Funny story about um, Town of Sullivan is went through a sobriety checkpoint the other day. It's on the back road somewhere coming back to Syracuse area and uh, found a sobriety checkpoint. Some of the state troopers made up because uh, it was Friday night of Labor Day, so you know, people thinking three day weekend maybe we're gonna party their ass off. This looks wet, I'm gonna slow it down. And the guy's like, Oh, where are you going? Where are you headed? And I'm like, Oh, back to Chittenanger, you know, Syracuse area. He goes, Oh, I used to be stationed in the town of Sullivan. I don't know where you're going. And the trooper was, you know, he was a younger guy and he was like, it was pretty cool. He's like, yeah, you drinks tonight? I'm like, no, no, of course not. I'm driving, you know. And I was waiting for him because my registration was expired on my car and I had the temporary one in the side seat. I was waiting for him to, uh, to be like, um, you know, your registration's up. And I'd be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, no, I have it right here. Don't ticket me. Don't pull me over. Don't delay me at all. <laughs> so it's just neat to know somebody else who actually knew where I was. And this thing, this thing will pull 55. I think I'm in fifth gear. I can't really be sure with this one because the clicking of the uh, shift clicking really doesn't do much. And it's kind of odd. Like, I can't tell what gear I'm in because of that because it doesn't really click when I shift. And I think that's due to the, uh, one of the brackets down there is a little worn it so it wiggles. And I wonder if I can tighten it. No, it's, uh, it's, it looked like it was welded on there. So it looks like it's got to be re-welded or something else. Other than that, it's a solid bike. 1985. Had a, needed a few parts. Got them. It's good to go. And as you can tell, I'm in full gear today. I didn't bring my jacket with me, so threw on a hoodie because that's all I really had. I mean, I guess I could have thrown on a winter jacket, but it's it's going to be 80 today, and I really wasn't looking forward to getting that geared up, especially a jacket without any padding or vents. 